Well, I know I promised that my second video on this Electra would be uh, setting up Blender, but I've been playing with the um, undercarriage system. So I thought I'd uh, do a quick video on that and show you how I got on. Uh, a lot of it is due to uh, help from my uh, buddies in my flying club. Um, special thanks to Colin who's um, opened my eyes to all sorts of issues like current draw and brightness of LEDs and all that sort of thing and use of interrupts in the Arduino and all sorts of clever stuff like that. So I've had a go and uh, I think I've got a system that's working okay and I thought I'd show you how it goes. So what I've got is um, I've got the the retract unit. Uh, this is on the, the nose gear of the aeroplane uh, here. Um, and that's electrically operated undercarriage. It operates like a, an ordinary servo, but hasn't got quite the same range as these little servos. It only operates between numbers of like 50 to 150 instead of 0 to 180 degrees. So that was a, a big thing I had to work out. Um, and I've got a servo for the steering of the nose wheel um, that's usually connected to the rudder channel. And I've got another servo that's used to open the gear doors. Um, I don't know if you can see that on the picture, but it's these doors here above the nose wheel. Um, and I'm 3D printing all the parts for this model. And I've 3D printed um, a mounting for the landing lights that are on here. They're using the uh, uh, WS812 uh, uh, LEDs that are addressable. So there's only three wires to those two LEDs. Um, I've 3D printed a mounting plate for all these parts and there's the Arduino I'm going to use. I'm going to solder all the connections onto that and that fits, fits nicely in there. And the um, undercarriage servo will mount under here. The gear door servo will, servo will fit in there and the steering servo fits in there. And all of that will eventually slide into the nose cone. Don't know if you can see that. That's just come off my 3D printer. It's my third iteration of this thing. I printed the gear doors in situ so I can just glue hinges on and then cut the, the gap out. So they should be perfectly fitting. And the unit slips in here like this. I hope it's focusing. Slides in there like that. Okay, I've got the uh, the nose cone as well that uh, goes on the front. So, how does it all work? Well, the sequence is quite straightforward. Um, the gears in the down position at the moment. So when I select raise the undercarriage on the transmitter, I need it to um, raise the gear and then close the doors afterwards. And the opposite for the gear going down, um, the doors will open first, then the gear will lower. And at the same time, as I lower the gear, I switch on the landing lights. And also with the steering, uh, while the gear is up, I disable the link from the rudder channel so that the wheels aren't turning inside the inside the fuselage when the gear's up. So, uh, proof of the pudding. I'm going to select down on my transmitter. So the gear, I'm turning on the transmitter, the gear is selected down. Now I'll plug in the battery. I'm using a 
Turnigy battery elimination circuit so I can plug one of my motor batteries in and get five volts for the receiver and for the servos and for the lights and for the Arduino. So it's all powered via this. Okay. While the gear is down, I have full control of the steering servo. And the gear door servo is at a particular position, presumably for gear, if the gear doors open, that should be. Okay, so I'm gonna select on the transmitter, raise the gear. And nothing's happened. <laughs> Here we go. Something come undone. Here we go, just needed a sequence to get in the right uh, situation, I think. So that's gear up, doors have closed, and I now am operating the rudder control, but I've got no movement on the steering servo, which is correct. Okay, now we go for gear down again. The doors open, gear goes down, The lights come on, and I've got control over the steering of the nose wheel now. See it one more time. Gear up. Lights go off. Gear comes up. I have no control of the um, rudder steering, and the doors have now closed. Neat, eh? quite pleased with that. Okay, now we'll have a look at the uh, Arduino software for the little uh, little Nano that's running here that's controlling it all. If you Aero modelers haven't had a play with these Arduinos, you really should because they're there's a bit of a learning curve, but it's they're not too hard to program and you can do some amazing things with them, especially for our hobby. They're brilliant. And they're cheap as chips as well. I got uh, five of these for 15 quid, so you can't go wrong, can you really? In fact, I, uh, I got a kit, which was about 27 quid and it had uh, an Arduino in it and loads of sensors and wires and um, breadboards and everything, everything you need to um, practice having a go with it. So I recommend those, definitely.